All right. Three, two. Is it this one? Yes. Okay. Three, two. Welcome into the Pig Trail Nation studios. We are joined by a special guest. We have Stanley Amude, who just announced he is transferring from South Dakota to Arkansas. Stanley, I just got to ask you the first question off the bat. Why Arkansas? What made you want to move from the Summit League to join the Razorbacks in the SEC? Yeah, you know, you know, it was a tough decision, a cup, a, a tough couple of weeks, you know, trying to trying to um, figure out where the best fit would be for me. And, you know, I, I had a I had a great couple talks with Coach Musselman and, you know, I had a good Zoom with him and my family. And, you know, my mom felt really comfortable with the decision. I felt really comfortable with it. And, you know, as far as um, for my career, I feel like it was the right move. Um, we heard from a lot of transfers this week. Uh in terms of uh, Chris Like saying why he chose Arkansas, the the um, point guard out of Miami, he said he he mentioned a lot on Muss and what Eric Musselman did through the process for him, making him feel extremely valued. Did you feel that with Eric Musselman putting a, a big emphasis on you as a person coming into Arkansas? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I definitely felt like I was a, a priority in the process, and you know, he was. He was always, you know, up front with me about everything, about um, how he viewed me as a player. with the recruiting process, you know, with you know, he's been able to, you know, recruit a lot of transfers and, and, and he has a plan as far as as far as setting the team up. Really, I really appreciated how he was up front with me. And what were you um, thinking while you were watching Arkansas through March Madness, just blazing their way to the Elite Eight? Did you say when they were watching that? Hey, this is a place I gotta be. No, yeah, definitely. It, it, it was inspiring, you know, watching that that tournament run, you know, seeing how a lot, you know, a lot not a lot of people had Arkansas making it as far as they did. And and you know, they just stuck with their game plan every time. And, you know, I really could see myself fitting into the style of play while watching and and feeling like I could I could be a good piece and, and possibly make another run. You guys are getting a lot of pieces now into Arkansas, a lot of transfers on East Tony out of Pitt. I mentioned Chris likes out of Miami to get all these guys. And, and now you coming in that some of the best players around the country to kind of center around in Fayetteville. How special do you think that group is going to be coming into next season? I think, I think it's going to be really special. You know, I'm, I'm really excited. You know, the hog, the, the hog fans, hog nation have done a great job, you know, welcome, welcoming, welcoming us in and, you know, making us feel, feel like we're already at home, even though we're not, we haven't even gone on campus yet. And, you know, it's a great feeling, you know, seeing that um, I'm going to be going through the same experience as those two other guys, you know, as first practice and, and moving into Fayetteville that way. But, you know, it'll be it'll be a fun experience. Last question for me before I turn it over to Kevin. You mentioned not being able to be on campus yet, Stanley, but have you done any virtual visits? Have you ever been to the Arkansas area? I haven't, actually. I haven't been to the Arkansas area. Um, you know, it'll be it'll be new for me, but you know, prior to coming up to South Dakota, I haven't been been here either. You know, I did a good job of adjusting and I feel like I'm I'll be fine, you know, adjusting adjusting to the, the atmosphere. Now we'll turn things over to uh Kevin to ask a few questions. Kevin. Stanley, first of all, congratulations on your commitment today. I know that's uh you know a big step for you in your basketball journey. Welcome to Arkansas. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm excited. When I watch you play, I see a guy that's very versatile on both sides of the ball. I really like your frame. You've got the skill to play a face-up game, a three-point game, but then you can play some bully ball too, post guys up, crash the glass. Uh, again, both ends of the floor I see is a very versatile guy that could probably defend multiple positions. So when you look at uh, what Arkansas did in the NCAA tournament and some of the things that you've talked about with Coach Melsman, Arkansas sometimes played big, sometimes played small. What have you, what have they talked about in terms of your role and being a versatile guy for this team? Yeah, you know, um, Musselman was uh, really, really, um, he was really detailed as far as how he seen me as a player, you know, moving me around different different places, using me on the perimeter or, or taking advantage of mismatches, you know, down low if, that, if that's the case. You know, they um, play a really up, up pace style, you know, I really like that, you know, attacking in transition and and, and doing things like that. And, and I feel like um, Musselman, Coach Musselman did a really good job of explaining how I could fit into that role. I saw, I was looking at your career stats and some of your games at South Dakota, uh, and you played well. Anytime your team's matched up with some of the high major programs, Colorado, Nebraska, Arkansas a couple of years ago, um, I think, um, I'm trying to remember, you played a ranked team as well, Washington, I believe. Uh, but you were statistically really strong in those games. 
uh, when you thought when you looked at your career at the at a, in a really good Summit League, how do you see your game translating now to the high major level, knowing you can compete? Yeah, you know, I'm, I feel like I've, I've had I've had good success here. I'm I'm you know I'm proud of what I've been able to do, but at the same time, I gotta you know keep improving and and if I want to make an impact at the next level. So I think you know really working on my perimeter game and and and, and getting into the lane and, and and not settling for the mid range as much uh, would would be helpful. And I, I think I could you know use my athleticism a lot more in the SEC and and you know the the physicality get a lot stronger and, and that'll help me a lot. I saw you had a 41 point game. Another guy that was a Razorback just two years ago had a couple of 40 pieces and was the, you know, the leading scorer in the SEC, SEC co-player of the year, Mason Jones. Did they talk to you a little bit at all about maybe seeing you as a guy that can can pop for some games like that and, and be a guy to, you know, because I think you were the second leading scorer behind uh, the ORU guard, Amos, this season, uh, over 20 points a game. Do you see yourself as a volume scorer at this level? Yeah, you know, definitely, you know, with uh, getting getting comfortable with the system, I could see myself being a, um, a threat offensively for sure. You know, um, using my versatility to either post up or, you know, extend with the range with three. Um, uh, I think I could be a really good uh, offensive threat at this level for sure. So, Stanley, when you look at what Eric Melsman's done in two years, year two, he brings in some grad transfers that helps put Arkansas on the map, specifically Justin Smith and Jalen Tate. I know you talked a little bit about paying attention uh, to the journey there, but uh, w when you see the uh, not only the opportunity to, to develop at another level, but also get more exposure, uh, talk a little bit about how that weighs into the, the decision. Then when you see guys like Chris Likes and you know, DC Tony also jumping on board, you know how does all that stuff kind of help sew you into the to this Razorback commitment? I think it was just a lot of excitement, you know, around around the whole thing, you know, following the the Elite Eight run and. And, and things like that, you know, they had a, uh, a great season. So bring, coming back and reloading with a good team will be, will be good. I think there's a lot of excitement around the program right now. And if we could come come in and, and have an immediate impact, it'll be it'll be it'll be great for the for the program. Have you had a chance to talk to any of the any of the other new commits from the grad transfer portal this past week or any of the current Razorbacks that are, are returning? Yeah, um, Chris likes. He reached out last night. You know, just asked. You know, introduced himself and whatnot. It got him locked in as a as a contact and whatnot. But um, I haven't really spoken with anyone else at the moment. But definitely looking to reaching out to guys here in the next in the next couple of days. All right. Now I'm going to ask you. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here. Basketball related or not? What's something about Stanley that Razorback fans are going to get to know, should know, or going to love about you? Um. Uh thing real quick <laughs> i like to cook you know I, th I think i'm a real good cook you know i like watching cooking channels things like that so i think that's that's something pretty interesting about me and i got one more for you just going to ask you about players that you like or look up to maybe it's college level maybe it's nba level but who are the guys that you pay attention to on the basketball court yeah, I really, I really like to to watch guys that kind of remind me of my game. You know, kind of guys like Jason Tatum, uh, Kevin Durant. You know, throwback. You know, I listen, I watch a lot of Joe Johnson highlights and and like Jamal Crawford things like that. So, really, just try to try to watch watch guys that I can take some things from their game and, and use it to help me. On a local level here, we can tell you Joe Johnson is one to definitely pay attention to. Okay. Uh, yeah. One of the greats. He's a Little Rock guy. I was a Razorback. Well, listen, yeah. man, congratulations again on your commitment. Really appreciate your time today. It was great to get to visit with you and find out more about, about you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity.